Hi guys and welcome again to another video on the channel Talk Solutions. If you are new, welcome and if you are not, it's good to see you again. I'm sure you must have heard someone saying their platelet count is low. So what exactly it means to have a low platelet count? Well, let's find out. A low platelet count can be a sign of an acute illness that can be treated easily with a short course of medications. But in some cases, it can occur due to chronic diseases with potentially serious consequences. In this video, you're going to learn what are platelets, the causes of a low platelet count, and how it can be treated. So let's dive right in. Platelets are the blood cells which help in the clotting of the blood with an aim to stop excessive bleeding in the event of an injury or accident. Platelets can stop bleeding by clumping together, forming plugs in the injured blood vessel. Platelet count is one of the blood tests that your doctor might recommend to you when you have a fever or infection or any symptom that points to an abnormality related to bleeding. And if your report shows you do not have enough platelets in your blood, you will be diagnosed with a low platelet count also called thrombocytopenia in medical terms. The platelet count in a healthy person is usually between 150,000 to 400,000 per microliter of blood. Thrombocytopenia occurs when the platelet count falls below 150,000. For most people, thrombocytopenia is not a big problem. But if your platelet count is too low, you might bleed too much when you are injured or even spontaneously in your gums, eyes, or bladder. It is easier to treat thrombocytopenia if you know exactly why it has occurred. Here are some factors that can increase your risk of having a low blood platelet count. Age. Thrombocytopenia can affect both adults and children. Bone marrow problems. Thrombocytopenia can occur as a result of disorders affecting the bone marrow which is a soft part in the middle of the lung bones such as the thigh bone. It is the bone marrow where platelets and other cells of the blood are produced. When your bone marrow is not functioning effectively, it may fail to produce enough platelets, causing you to develop a low platelet count. The bone marrow disorder that can put you at risk of thrombocytopenia include 1. Aplastic anemia this is a disorder that occurs when the body stops producing adequate number of blood cells. 2. The deficiency of vitamin B12, iron, and folate. 3. Infections such as dengue, HIV, chickenpox, and Epstein-Barr virus. 4. Exposure to radiation, chemotherapy, or toxic chemicals. 5. Cirrhosis of the liver. 6. Leukemia, which is a type of blood cancer and 7. Excessive consumption of alcohol. Sometimes your bone marrow may be producing enough platelets, yet you may develop thrombocytopenia simply because the platelets are getting destroyed faster. Each platelet produced in your bone marrow can ideally live for about 10 days. The destruction of platelets before this 10-day period can lower your platelet count even when your bone marrow is producing enough of them. This can occur due to the side effects of some medications. It can also be a sign of an underlying disease such as an enlarged spleen, an autoimmune disorder, pregnancy, abnormal blood clots that block the small blood vessels, and immune disorders that affect blood clotting. You can also develop a low platelet count due to platelets getting trapped in your spleen. The spleen is a small organ situated just below the rib cage on the left side of the abdomen. The spleen helps your body fight infections and filters out unwanted toxins from the body. The enlargement of the spleen can result in too many platelets getting trapped in this organ. Therefore, the number of platelets circulating in your blood will be reduced, leading to the development of thrombocytopenia. Thrombocytopenia usually lasts for several days or years. If you have mild thrombocytopenia, you might not need any active treatment. However, if your platelet count is too low and remains so for a longer duration of time, you will have to get yourself treated to avoid excessive bleeding and other complications of thrombocytopenia. The treatment depends on the cause and severity of the condition. There are several treatments that can help to restore a healthy platelet count. 1. 
identifying the cause. If your low blood platelet count can be traced to a specific cause or an underlying condition. For example, if you are using any medication known to cause thrombocytopenia, your doctor will prescribe safer medications that can manage your health without affecting your platelet count. 2. Platelet or blood transfusion. If your platelet count is too low, you might need platelet or blood transfusion to replenish the lost volume and increase your platelet count. 3. Medications. If your low platelet count is traced back to any autoimmune disorder like lupus, your doctor will advise you to use medications to manage the underlying condition and boost the platelet count. 4. Surgery. When most other treatments fail to increase the platelet count, your doctor may recommend a surgery called splenectomy for the removal of the spleen. Dietary and lifestyle interventions for the treatment of low blood platelet counts requires eating a nutritious diet that comprises adequate amounts of B12 vitamins and minerals like folate and iron. These can increase your platelet count and help you avoid the complications of thrombocytopenia. If you have thrombocytopenia, avoid activities that can cause injuries. For example, avoiding contact sports like boxing, football, and martial arts, as these activities can carry a high risk of injury and subsequent blood loss. Limit your intake of alcohol, as alcohol can slow down the production of platelets in the bone marrow. Avoid using over-the-counter pain medications like aspirin or ibuprofen without consulting your doctor, as these medications can prevent the platelets from working effectively. Identification of the exact cause of reduced platelet count and making efforts to correct it is critical to the management of thrombocytopenia. Following healthy dietary practices will enable your body to produce adequate platelets and protect you against the risk of thrombocytopenia. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and share the video. Also click the bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any new videos. Thanks for watching guys and see you in the next video.